Rainfall poses a major issue for many species. When wet, insects become too heavy to fly, and small warm-blooded animals like birds can become too cold for their metabolism to compensate. Many species solve this problem using small-scale structures on their feathers and scales that help them shed water. To see how this works, let's look at some simplified artificial surfaces. When a water droplet sits on a smooth surface like glass, it tends to spread, maximizing its contact with the glass. We call these surfaces hydrophilic, or water-loving. In contrast, a surface with small-scale roughness traps pockets of air underneath the drop. This helps minimize contact between the drop and the surface. As a result, the water drop stays beaded up. These surfaces are known as hydrophobic, or water-fearing, because they repel water. The same principles hold for droplet impacts, too. On a smooth surface, the droplet spreads out and contacts a large area. But on the rough surface, the droplet surface contact is minimized and it actually rebounds back off the surface. But when it comes to rainfall, biology takes its water-repelling physics even further, as seen in this recent study. Here we see a smooth surface with a single disruptive bump. As the water drop impacts, it spreads and hits the bump, creating a series of shock-like waves. These waves change the thickness of the spreading drop, disrupting the thin layer. At the right impact speed, the shock-like waves can actually create holes in the drop. As the speed at impact increases, more holes develop, helping rip the droplet apart. With multi-scale roughness like that found in nature, the breakup happens even faster. Researchers found a 70% decrease in contact time compared to smooth surfaces. So all that roughness keeps animals safe and dry when it rains. Thanks for watching. You can always find more fluid dynamical insights on the main site at fyfluiddynamics.com. And if you want to keep up with FYFD videos, be sure to like and subscribe here too.